dive past the jellies without touching them. We have 97 plus 58, blank 38 plus 81. So let's go ahead and solve 97 plus 58. We start with our ones place, so 7 plus 8 equals 15, so we need to carry over 1 to our tens place. 1 plus 9 plus 5 equals 15, so we're going to carry over our 1 here to our hundreds place. So we have 155. Let's go ahead and solve 38 plus 81. We have 8 plus 1 equals 9. 3 plus 8 equals 11, so we're going to carry 1 over to our hundreds place. We have 119. So now we have 155 and 119. So let's start comparing. We have 100 and 100. These are the same. They're equal to each other, so we need to move on to compare our tens place. Our tens place, we have 5 tens and 1 tens. So we're comparing 50 to 10. And we know that 50 is greater than 10. Remember, the big mouth eats the bigger number. So this means that 155 is greater than 119. So the correct answer here is B. Great! Nice!
Good job! Amazing! Monsterific! Super! Ninety-four plus sixty equals blank plus ninety-eight. So our first step is let's go ahead and figure out what is ninety-four plus sixty. So we always start by adding our ones place first. So we have four plus zero equals four. Nine plus six equals 15. So we have five in our tens place and we're gonna carry over one to our hundreds place. So now we have, if we look at our problem here, we have 154 equals some number plus 98. Okay, and remember, our 154 here came from 94 plus 60. So then how do we figure out this number? Well, it's very easy. So what we need to do is we're going to take our 154 here. We're going to take 154 minus our 98. Okay, so here's our 98. And again, even with subtraction, we always start by subtracting our ones place first. So here we have four minus eight. Well, four is less than eight, so we need to borrow from our tens place. But in our tens place, we have five minus nine. So we still can't borrow here because five is smaller than nine. So we have to start by borrowing from our hundreds place. So our one is going to become a zero. And then now that we just borrowed, we can add a one here to our tens place. So now we have enough in our tens place to borrow for our ones place. So now our 15 will become a 14 because we're gonna borrow one and add it to our ones place. So now we have 14 minus eight equals six, 14 minus nine equals five, and zero minus zero equals zero. So now we found our magic number which is 56. So now let's go ahead and see if we have the correct answer. So we have 56 plus 98. So we have 6 plus 8 equals 14, so we're going to carry the 1. We have 1 plus 5 plus 9 equals 15, so we're going to carry over the 1 to our hundreds place. And now we have 154. So we know we have the correct answer because we have 154 on both sides. So that's what the equal sign means. That means that this equals 154, and this also has to equal 154. So the correct answer here is 56.
Way to go! I like it! Keep it up! You're awesome! Super duper! Wonderful! Correct! First, we're going to solve 52 plus 80. We have 52 plus 80. We always start with our ones place first. So we have 2 plus 0 equals 2. 5 plus 8 equals 13. So now we have a 1 here in our hundreds place. And now we want to know, well, what number plus 54 is going to equal 132? So we know this side equals 132. But how can we get the other side to also equal 132? So this is the way we do it. We're going to take 132 minus our 54 here. So we start with our ones place. 2 minus 4. 2 is less than 4. We have to borrow from our tens place. But 3 is less than 5, so we can't borrow from there. We're going to start by borrowing from our hundreds place. So our 1 becomes a 0, and we add 1 to our tens place. Now we have enough in our tens place to borrow for our ones place. So our 13 becomes a 12 and we add 1 to our ones place. So now we have 12 minus 4 equals 8, 12 minus 5 equals 7, and 0 minus 0 equals 0. So the correct answer here is 78. 52 plus 80 equals 78 plus 54. And both of these equal 132.
<laughs> Great! <laughs> nice! We need to round 2,025 to the nearest thousand. So let's fill in our number here. We have 2,025. So it's always good practice to circle which place value we're rounding to. So we're rounding to the nearest thousand. But remember, that means we need to look at the place value to the right. So we have to look at the hundreds place. And because the hundreds place is zero, we're going to be rounding down. Remember, five or greater, we round up. Four or less, we round down. So the hundreds place is equal to zero, which means we have 2,000. Let's write that here. We have 2,000, zero, zero, zero. So our two in our thousands place stays the same because we round it down. And then every number after that becomes zero. So we have 2,000 as our answer. Good job! Amazing! Monsterific!
<laughs> Super! Way to go! You made it past! Watch out for any more jellies! This level is part of Adapted Mind Super Skills!